Okay, this is the McClung house on the property, and the McClungs were a better fine, I mean, they had more money than a lot of the families, so it's a pretty good size. Uh, nice stone chimney, and they had their house divided by a breezeway, which was really a desirable thing to keep things cool because when the wind would go through there, it would really cool things off. And there's their front porch bench. I'm going to go up the steps and see if I can keep from falling. Uh, but the McClungs were a prom prominent family. And uh, so here's their breezeway and their little wagons and so forth. And I don't know what they stored in there, tools and what all. Everybody hung things and on walls back then. And some of their furnishings are still here. And as you can see, they had more than the average family. Oh, there's even charming pictures of the McClungs. And a phonograph and, and uh, dressers and so forth. And then uh, a weaving loom, which I'm sure didn't sit right in the middle of the bedroom, but maybe it did, I don't know. And here's their cloth that they made rag rugs. And there's the bed. People were shorter back then and skinny because they didn't have much to eat. There's the washstand and there's where you could sit by, leave the door open there, get a little air. And in here, is the second room, which is really the family di the dining room, kitchen, and so forth. But at the same time, there is another bed. There's the coat closet, or regular closet. Beautiful carving work on the bed. And there's, uh, you can't see it, it's just clothes. But they had a china cupboard, a nice wood-burning stove, stove. There's the little baby's crib. And the rocking chair for Grandma and Grandpa. A very nice chest with um, the universal symbol of welcome, which is the pineapple. And there's their wood-burning fireplace. It was really quite large, so it had a good draw, I'm sure. And their decorations on the top and their china. I think I've already shown that. Um, there's their pantry of all their canned goods. Um, I'm sure anything they ate, they produced themselves. And here is their dinnerware, their homemade chairs, wood floor, of course. And there, aren't, uh, there are a few braided rugs on the floor. One there, one there. Oh, there's the obligatory um, bed can or whatever you call it, bed bucket. Oh, and back there is a little, actually you sit on that. How nice. And Papa probably played the banjo. So this is their and a big chest of drawers. I can't get back far enough to get a good picture. This is a dough bowl. And that's where she made her bread dough. And it's just a big hollowed out piece of wood. But that's where they needed their dough and everything to make bread. Okay, and here's a family member's picture. Running out of camera. I mean, battery. So that's it. And here's the nice overhang. And step down from the porch. Their pile of wood. And my son-in-law. <laughs> so there you go.